So religiously, for like, I don't know how many years, we've mm-hmm. been saying Happy Independent Lake because most of the time <laughs> we wake up around 6 p.m. Yeah. because th- the, the night before, 38, everybody's <laughs> at the gym is jump off. Yeah, yeah. You know what it is. Yeah. But this year, man, mm-hmm. man, man, sadly. How you, how you feeling about that, first of all? Uh, I mean, yes, yesterday I was sending messages to people because a lot of people were just like sending me messages like ah oh, so no 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 jump up i day. knew and then i just laugh and then i cry <laughs> <laughs> you know because it was funny one yeah. two it was you know it was sad as well you know yeah it was funny because to be honest with you i also felt like at one point i've been feeling like one year we need to take a break and just you know so we, you haven't taken no breaks no how many taken. years have we done jimmy's jump off we've been doing event? jump off since uh, 2008 that's 12 years. 12 years. No break. No break. All right, COVID. You know. All right, COVID. And, uh, and that's not that's not 12 events. Yes, sir. Because we've done multiple some, multiple, multiple cities. cities. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes we've done three cities in a year. You know, yeah. so so I've always felt like maybe you know like this year at the beginning of this year i'm yeah. like i've been asking people do you think we should take a break we format yeah you know or just something and. We couldn't even conclude on that, and then this whole thing happened. And you did, and you did. But truly, to be honest, but to be honest with you, I don't think we would have gone without having jump off this year. The format would have, maybe the format would have changed. Okay. You know, but we would have done the we would have done the events. Thing. And you're not even down with the virtual show, say, I'm not the biggest. One. I was gonna do that, but I was gonna run it. I couldn't figure it out well. Okay. And then we didn't we didn't get to that on time. You know, there was this impression or that feeling like you get to a point where you think oh maybe things might just open up maybe mm-hmm. things might just open up we even thought of a drive through you know kind of vibe. kind of event you know but you know it was a bit cumbersome in terms of budget okay and we weren't getting any we weren't going to get any we couldn't even approach sponsors for anything yeah you know because everybody's not they're holding on they're holding on to what they got you know so um so 2020 with passed we didn't have it yeah in this exactly off. sadly but i you know to be honest with you the regrets to me is i probably would have done something maybe a virtual type event okay just to you know you know celebrate that usual we at least we had something maybe it's more but we and it's something. amazing because it's, it's also good because people actually messaged you said oh you know, a lot of people said. a lot of people so the disappointment is just not within you <laughs> a, a lot, lot of, of us are also yeah, sad yeah. because we didn't have anything to do it's, yesterday yeah it's like watch nights <laughs> 24th to 25th but then but then you look at the environment as well i mean you're not even in the mood to celebrate exactly yeah although we've always been in that same position but this particular year is just you know like damn maybe we should just take a break i know right yeah speaking of taking a break what what's what's uncle jimmy been doing oh me um i mean i've been forced to take a break no doubt but (laughs) within that break time Mm -hmm. obviously you know doing a whole lot of mental stuff yes sir of course initially what we did was or what i did was get on the internet you know there was this isolation party that i used to mm-hmm. you know run like every yeah, just, yeah, to, yeah, just yeah. to keep with people the, going you with know uchi. with uche with sensei uche, sensei yeah, uche you know, my so, guy mm-hmm. i mean I, we had fun at that you know mm-hmm. so yeah and um i paused at the point because for some reason from some personal reason okay. you know I'll, okay. I'll probably tell you after the interview <laughs> <laughs> you know i post um for oh i mean i could be open with it anyway for some health reason i had to post oh yeah so yeah please you know. tell me you're okay yeah I'm, I'm, you can see for yourself yes. i'm great <laughs> sir yes sir yes sir <laughs> i'm great i'm back man mm-hmm. but what yeah. what what have you been doing in those because i know a couple of things that i did in those learning in learning time. acquiring knowledge mm-hmm. and you know strategizing mm-hmm. you know thinking way forward and you really i mean for someone like me who's been doing pretty much almost the same thing for well over three decades it was a good time to you know really assess Ooh. and say man what are what are you know what are the other things you know yeah, yeah, well, so. jimmy's career is older than some of your face a whole lot of people yeah. 
That's why I'm the industry uncle. Hell yeah! <laughs> and that's why we have to get you. <laughs> to be the first episode of the Dada Boy wow, Show. Wow, privilege to be on it. No, like privilege I, I, I to explain, be honest with you. I'm honored, man. I'm so honored that you're here. Thank you. And people don't know. A lot of people know. It's our secret. I'm his co-presenter. He's the main presenter. Because when I got on <laughs> oh, MTV, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It was me, and you yes. first. Yes. Yeah. When I got on MTV, official yes. Ninja Top Ten. Yeah, Thank you very time. much. Yeah. Yeah. I was so nervous and you see me, I was sweating. <laughs> Are you my, kidding? I was dying. Nobody and, was like, and, ah. and I was amazed. I'm like, what? where's this young guy from that he, he's, <laughs> his depth is this much? First of all, that's not even that. You were just so good at what you, what you did then. Yes, sir. Or what like, eventually you got into. Yes, sir. But, you know, because I followed the reality yeah, you know, process yeah. of... But I'm like, that's, how old can this guy be? This guy was talking to me about things that I... I thought we're only knowledge that people like my time will have, you know, musical yes. conversation. Yes, you, sir. Yes, and we sir. still have those kind of conversations. I'm always like, wow, you know, a lot of people don't, you know, because that's the thing about entertainment. And I always say people, people allow ignorance hmm. in entertainment. If you're going to be a lawyer, if you're going to be a doctor, you know, you go to court as a lawyer, even if you're 20, 22, 23 years old and refer to cases that were handled like maybe 20, 30 years ago, mm -hmm. you know, to to defend cases. Yes, sir. Because yes, you've sir. read books, you follow, you know, so the format. if you're going to go into a profession, mm -hmm. you study that, you read and study about that profession. Do research. Yes, so sir. you don't claim I'm too young to mm -hmm. know. Yes, it's sir. only in entertainment you'll find a music person. Yeah. An OAP, for instance, who claims ignorance about the music scene five, ten years ago. Okay. Because, oh, I, I was young then now. <laughs> if you're going to get behind the mic and talk about this, mm -hmm. this kind of thing, you might as well get the knowledge. Have, have you had like a personal situation? With oh, so, several. Please, please <laughs> share with us. <laughs> okay, so maybe I won't remember who it was, but I've been, on, ra but I've been on radio. Mm -hmm. And someone was asking me and said... Uh, Oh, I remember when your career started with uh, Styly. Eh? And that was when I was about signing up. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm Stiley like... Styly was like... What? Styly was more... That's 2000 and something. I've been around since the 80s. Damn. You understand what I'm saying? You know, so when someone starts a conversation with you on that level, you don't even know where to go. And that's live radio. Live radio. Oh so I'm just God. like, whoa. How are we gonna do so this? what am I gonna tell this guy? Damn. <laughs> oh, so you heard? <laughs> you thought I started with styling, and then some other person also said, you know, oh, now I see you're making records like this other DJ who started making records some three, four, five years ago, and I made my first record like 2006. I mean, I put it out 2006, but I recorded it like long before that. Do you understand what I'm saying? And the person said, compared you to a DJ. Yeah, I said, like, I okay, like, I'm now joining that, you know, train. I'm like, you what the? <laughs> People need to do their homework. What, 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 I mean, if they tell you, I mean, someone is coming on your show. Mm -hmm. It's Google. There you go. You know, you can at, at, at least take time to just do that fine. It's like specifics with DJs now. It's okay, I'm going to a certain party and you know yeah. this party has a certain age Exactly, group. exactly. Yes. So I mean if you if you're if you're twenty five year old and you're a DJ and you're playing a fifty year old party party. You know the yeah. kind of songs they want. You should, you know. <laughs> I mean that's not you know Definitely. Were there DJs that dropped singles before you did them? None that I know of. Okay. Around here. Yeah, in none that, none that I know of. The only thing that was close to that was uh, Fireball by Stramborella. I was about to say. But that wasn't a DJ record. Yes. Stramborella. That was a DJ on, on a song with someone else. That wasn't a record, a DJ record, record. as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so the guy uh, featured. No, uh, no, 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 no. It's, um, I don't know how to explain, but it wasn't a DJ record, oh. as far as I'm concerned. Okay, okay. Except they want to redirect it, but at the time it dropped, it wasn't dropped as a DJ record. I love it. I yeah. love it. Let's take it back. I've, I've spoken to you so many times. It's like I, I should write your book. <laughs> it's like I know all these things. Like I should be the guy. Or if you are writing, whoever is gonna write Uncle Jimmy's book, she'll holler at me. I have some details. But this is part. This is what I wanna, what the best advice you ever heard and the best advice you ever gave to a fellow DJ. Whoa. 
or just in life in general? In life in general, best advice, uh, you know, for me is just be yourself and do unto others that you love to be done unto you. I think it's as simple as that. Yes, sir. You know, truly, I mean, I don't even like things being complex, so put it simple. You know, for me, I think that's what has always worked for me. Mm-hmm. How, about, how about the best advice that was given to you? That's the best that was given to me. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Um, that I've given anyone. <laughs> Guy, do your thing. That's the best advice. Do your thing, man. <laughs> but do your thing, I mean, with a conscience. I like that. You know, yeah. Do your thing with a conscience. Uncle Jimmy is in the house. Okay, so when during the lockdown, I did the IG live. Yes. Yeah. Do you, that was you, fun, man. I enjoyed it. You know, you're my first guest too, right? Oh, for real? Yes, sir. I didn't know that. Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> it's like an approval. It's like, Ace, man. He, he got to do it first. <laughs> when he does it first, then everybody else can come after. You know what I'm just, It's just normal. And it was so comfortable. Ace, man. It was it, so comfortable it, talking it, to you. It, it blew my mind. Yeah, no, man. Man. you know how I feel about you now. You definitely I know. And, you I like pre- and I appreciate it. And you know how I feel about yes, you. Yes, sir. You're one of the greatest, man. Like, it, without a doubt. There's no... There's no part two wow. about it. Thanks, so it's like man. they don't they don't guess. Thanks, it's like man. some people they guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we like this one no, it's solidified. Solidified. Thank you I appreciate that. This this question is nice for me. Because mm-hmm. I, I want to know how would you say, or if you can coin it in a, in in a short answer, how do you think you did it basically staying around this long? Cause this this is for me mm. this is not for you so if you're watching you okay yes all right just respect for people respect for era respect for generations uh, the stick okay you know so um reason i said that is you know i relate well with you yes sir and i relate well with the guy before you yes sir and i relate with the guy before that and i'll relate well with the guy after me. after you oh, yes sir and i'll respect all of them you understand what I've noticed is people don't respect generations. So you find people my age saying, Kill I'm okay, kick it in shit, man. With no this small Mickey then they do. That's f- shut up. Okay, of course, man. That's fucked up. Yes, sir. Yeah, so really, yes! you know. <laughs> Come <laughs> you know. on. You understand what I'm saying? You know, so pretty much I'm just that guy that, you know, I learn from everyone. Mm-hmm. I, and you know, I I have friends, I have people that I regard as friends. Yes, sir. Who are twenty something year old. Just the, about the age of my daughter. You know? Yes, sir. I have friends who are in their thirties. I have friends in their forties. I have friends who are sixty, above sixty, and I learn from everyone and I respect everybody. So I'm that connect between. I'm, I feel like I always refer to myself like the bridge. Yes, sir. So I know I can really I can be in the gathering of youngins and you know still still vibe. But boy, you boy. <laughs> no, I don't see that. That's another thing. And I think that's another that's that's another thing that works for me. Don't ever see yourself as, you know, that person. Don't let all that get you. Yes, sir. You know, because yes, then it takes you away from people. Yes, sir. You know, and most times when people want to sh- stay away from me because if you oh, a legend, Jamie, oh yeah. I'm quick to let you chop that off and come close, you know. Because I'm just get, I'm gonna get something off you. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying, you know. So, I think that's my own secret, really, so, to be honest. With respect you. people, respect generation. Yeah. What's the last one you said? Respect age. No era. Era. You know. So I'm not the type that will tell you the music of the eighties is better than nineties or the nineties is better than what's going on now. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, this is what we're vibing to now. Hell yeah. So I get involved. Yeah, but the, and but get the into 90s it. Though. No doubt. I mean, in life, everybody will always have preference. Yeah, for sure, then, for sure. Know, if I tell you what really works for me, I'm more hip hop, you know, in yeah. terms of who I am and what I listen to. Yes, sir. And if you talk about hip hop, I think the best era is still the '90s, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, but this is what is being played now. Yes, sir. You're just gonna have to find a way to find the good stuff. It's lit now. It. It's, yeah. cr- it's the music is faster now. It's not. I mean, some are even a lot more sluggish. I used to be. I used to be a break dancer, for instance. You understand what I'm saying? And being a break dancer, if you know what break dance means, the vibe, the kind of music, reckless, and all those, 
Those were very fast upbeat songs. So nothing did nothing you, now you, is as fast as that. Did you ever make money off break dancing? No. <laughs> I broke I broke some I lost money, broke some bones. <laughs> <laughs> Are you wait, yeah, serious? Yes. You broke some bones. I mean you can't do break dancing and not once once uh, windmill, oh. backspin. And not once. Um, you then, guy, you know, you know, you not dance now. And it is, you say you not dance. If you don't break, you not dance. How right? you, you not go? Wound, the real right? break dance. Yes, the real break dance. Straight, like straight dance, like straight big dancing. You know, w- the way we used to do it then is, you know, you put like, you know, like when they buy fridge for one area, you uh-huh. stand go say, ah, they don't buy fridge, so big carton go, they, you go spread down. Big carton. Can they do backspin, man? So, oh boy, what are you talking about? You not go wound. <laughs> and imagine because no get, crazy and everybody got around you that yeah. big cut on yeah and it tastes yes now some areas you're going you you have to pull that thing there like man you know that when you get to this place well was that your first love was it was hip-hop no, no, no. first or dancing hip-hop for me i've mean, always been around hip-hop no doubt you know so i've been to hip-hop as far as as far as i'm concerned since maybe 79 because i started rapping from the first time i had a rap record Damn. The first rap record I ever released. Are you okay? You know, so my brothers had bought the record. Yeah. I was I was crying, <laughs> you know. So, but then vinyls used to come like twelve inch mm-hmm. vocal. I mean the the instrumental the instrumental on one side and then the, the vocals, vocals on, on the other side. Yeah. So I used to flip that record. Yeah. Which what what, what rap record? Was, um, Sugar Hill Gang. Sugar Hill Gang. Rappers delight. Rappers delight. The hip. The half, so it was hip, it was the first rap hip, record hip, I stumbled hip. on, and it was the ra- first rap record oh, ever, bang, really for real. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. yeah. Now what you, you get there is not a test, and I'm rapping to, to the, the beat. beat. Come on, hey. Hey. the group. I'm a friend. We're gonna try to make you feel. Come on. You see, I Where? am one the mic, and I would like <laughs> to say hello. hello. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> and now let me tell you. Where I got okay, so my name used to be Master J, and people close to me still call me Master J. Master J, but I stole the name from from that sugar ale. Yes, yeah, because that's yes. the Master G guy Master, there. Yeah, so I simply just change. Okay, so me, I'm Jimmy. Yeah, I ain't G man. So <laughs> Master J, and love- if you come to my house, my mom, my dad, the late now though, my brothers, my sisters, family members, call you Master J, schoolboys. They all call me Master J. I love it. Nobody knows Jimmy Jack. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I yeah. love it. Yeah. My, I think my first hip hop record that I knew word for word, '93, Snoop Dogg, Gin and Juice. I think that's that's like what turned me. Mm-hmm. That hip hop. I know yeah. the hip hop from back to front. I followed everything from then till now. But if to trickle it down here, did we have hip hop artists? As I, at that time that. We have boys rapping on the street because mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I mean, based on what you do, you also find your likes. There you go. But no one was making those records. Nobody was making records. The records, the hip hop records, similar to that, started maybe towards the late eighties. The first one I stumbled on, um, like, I think um, there was a guy called Lexi something. I can't remember. It was Wack though. <laughs> Oh uh, my god. No, it was definitely one. He said he was what? <laughs> That's somebody's <laughs> granddad right now. Whatever, whatever, sorry, man. Whatever, your granddad was whack. Was whack. <laughs> you know. sorry. Um the record labels at that time obviously were not interested. It, it was a new music form. So nobody okay. and they felt it was Western. So when we even started trying to make music and make demo tapes mm-hmm. and submit to maybe They didn't music, like it. You, you, they, they, they just refer to you as American wannabes, mm. you know. So we're like um, fake versions of, of the rappers, uh, exactly. You know. So mm. in the eighties, it wasn't. It was a struggle. The first one that I really stumbled on, really, that I felt like okay, maybe it was almost properly, not properly done, but it was you know close to something, and gave us hope as well. Mm. Was um, sounds mm. of something. Apparently, uh, sounds or something. I'm trying to remember. And this is late eighties. Yeah, it's late eighties. Okay. Yeah, but eventually, when all that conversation, I mean, all that failed us. Yeah. We then took charge because then I started making demo tapes, and then we had, I had loads of boys that we were hoping that ah, if it, you know want to do music, you know, so we started making demo tapes, you know, but. 
looking back now, there's no way those things could have flied. <laughs> you know, flown you know, so, <laughs> so pretty much. Um, I gotta ask you, was it easy though making those demo tapes? It wasn't easy. I mean, getting the resources. No, 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 no. It, was, it, was, it, was, it was. It wasn't yeah. easy. It wasn't so easy. So you had to have like a level of facility. First of all, it was analog. Damn so it wasn't boy. any digital style. Damn. So you know, it was it was. But I mean, me coming from a DJ's perspective, yeah. I used to first of all try whatever I want to do yeah. on some record instrumental. Mm -hmm. So I record that, and listen, and then try to get someone that can at least create that kind of you know what we did a few demo tapes damn you know? yeah. and i tried it was yeah. analog. analog so i gotta ask you this how do you how do you send text messages then you text love letter no you write letter <laughs> you wrote love letter IGT. you write the letter <laughs> buy stamp put stamp go to the post office post it wait because it will take about it will take some weeks to get to the person so and then the in person, this message it was and i love you it will take you a week guy, to send you and i love no, you when me i was in high school <laughs> you'll be looking all, all through the time one time you'll be looking forward to that reply i, I, I don't send this guy letters i'll be mean, this babe's letter since never reply meanwhile the girl's school is just some um, few kilometers away from your school it's not even in another state it's just down the and, road but the thing is you can't go to the school you, you, so you wrote letter you bought stamp you took it to the post office somebody collects from you put stamp again pa, pa, po, 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 put it inside one stamp. oh my god and then try they will, then you will now wait all these ones i'm telling you is months and weeks so oh my god yeah, so it's not, uh... but you guys had the best time still i'm I, i'm jealous although of me, i wasn't so crazy i wasn't so, so i mean so much of a letter person but that's the process yeah yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I really didn't write letters i know i probably would have written one or two Dang. i hope you are doing fine you so doxology <laughs> that's doxology i don't know the meaning till tomorrow but we used it several did somebody tell us what's doxology I have, okay, let me go with this. no please check uh, okay. <laughs> now, now we use that word <laughs> and then when you finish you will still come and put some perfume type thing just so the thing smells nice when she opens <laughs> Uh, for what? Uh, <laughs> wait, I, this I can't remember that thing again, Jare. But we I use that word several. Okay, let's see. Look, if so, doxology. Guy. <laughs> don't kill me. What? Yeah, Why am I even talking like this? Everybody's gonna think I'm a caveman now. <laughs> Oh shit! It says a short, a short hymn of praise to God in various forms of Christian worship. I have no idea why you guys were writing doxology in a love letter. I have no idea. We do, we do. <laughs> it was a common, very commonly, frequently used. <laughs> but you guys had, you guys had socials. You guys had parties. You guys had clubs, of discos, course. Um, and you obviously had. The gateway because no. you were playing in most of those places no 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 because every place we do we do it in our room <laughs> styly styly yeah. styly this lagos where we there so this streets where you the see so all the people where we see we love them and the music that we play we do it in our room styly 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 One of the lines that i see when i wake up because i have this whiteboard oh for real i have this whiteboard in my apartment this whiteboard i put like ideas on so the line the first line that says is this is how we're going to pay school fees and it's really <laughs> in bold <Wow. laughs> yeah and that 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 line is on is in permanent marker all the other things are written in uh, markers you can clean visible. yes oh. so, but that one says, this is how we're going to pay school fees oh. and the other one line says not in that same sentence but it okay. says um build it at your own strength so you can run at your own pace you understand? So mm. ever since I've had sense, I guess I realized that I'm not as strong as everybody else physically, but I have my own certain powers. Mm. So why not just rest, wrestle your powers yeah. and be the best you can be? Yeah. You understand? So once again, thank you for styling. <laughs> you understand? Uh, yeah. So, let, let's speak music now. Yeah. Um, um, 2020. Yeah. You are dropping some. I have. They told me 
you know something who is leaking this information they told me <laughs> they, t- they called me specially they were like you have to know okay i, I mean you should know. <laughs> yes sir no <laughs> so tell us um i mean pretty much we there's been plan to you know be more active with music this yes, year sir. you know but of course with the or whatever yes sir you know but i just feel like the year shouldn't even go without really doing anything mm-hmm. major you know mm-hmm. so pretty much i i dropped a single earlier but that was a bit casual yeah you know, um better better with um cdq yes sir well, we have a we have a body of work eventually coming mm-hmm. you know but um i can't put a date or time to that now okay well I, i would love for it to be this year but it's looking like it might have to be next year mm-hmm. but off that project yeah, a single wood drop okay you know this okay. who's on it? who's on it just say it. <laughs> just say it all right so um <laughs> the single that is about to drop would future you know it's like a bri- i try to do like be that bridge you know so i'm crossing you know to like like i always say ge- generation and errors yes you know. sir so it's two face and bujo on this one wow yeah Wow. Should be nice, right? I love it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Two Face and Buju. Buju, you are a lucky son, eh? Hey? <laughs> Damn. Well, well boys the legend, man. I love really it. Yeah, great. he's so good. I mean, music is great, you know, man. I gotta, I'm excited about the song I'm I gotta, not, because I normally s- I wouldn't even tell, I wouldn't even say it before time. Yeah, you know, but I'm excited about it. Buju and Two Face. Yeah, come to think of it, he wasn't even born when you started playing. Nah. Buju, I did an interview with Buju. He's nah. 23. Yeah. He hit Jordan here this yeah. year. Ah, damn Buju, you better put uh, the uncle, uncle, daddy, daddy, well, Jimmy Jack. But well, that's how we started. You know, that's what I said at the beginning. Yeah. Having respect for people. Yes, sir. Just respecting people for, I mean, for being human. Yes, sir. It's not. I'm. I'm not here to tell you. I've been. I've been around before you were born. I think people dwell too much on that. Hmm. I say a lot of um, disrespect in that area. Mm-hmm. I see young people that don't want to work with grown people, mm-hmm. or older people, because the older people don't accord them the respect. Yes, sir. You know. So, I mean, I'm. I'm not like that. I've worked with. I mean, who haven't I worked with? You, are, you know, check it. Hey, I like it. If, check if, it. And I'm not. I'm not talking about just on record. Yeah. I mean, I do stuff with them. Yesterday, yes, I, I was in the studio recording with a lot of people. Some of the guys were teenagers. Yeah. Yeah. That's not what I'm saying. As far as the talent is there, as far as something is there, let's find it and help. You know, push it out. I love it. Yeah. I gotta ask you this because I talk to a lot of music people. The music that came out this year or that's still coming out this year, yeah. 2020. How happy. The best thing about pandemic was the music. How happy does it like the how happy the best thing about pandemic is the music. Is the music as far as Nigerian music is concerned. Because I think what happened was, you know, um before now we tend to just jump, go to the club, bounce on the couches, you know, just have a good time. We're not dealing with what the music is about. So as far as you know, you know, you just we get excited. We don't enjoy even it. We drink and just jump. Now it was fine. Most people were wearing their headphones and listening to music, and you know, or just chilling and listening to music. Yes, so sir. the music, a lot of songs that were done this year. Mm-hmm. Shout out to all the new boys, you know. Oh, we got a lot. I'm telling you, the quality of the music it's is ama- crazy, is amazing. One I of made, them is Omalay. Loads of them. Omalay, Damn. Joe Boy, Fire Boy, the boys. Rama, all them, all them boys, man. By the way, they said the boy, the boy is a, is a thing. And, and you know the good thing is that a lot of people actually did put out body of work. Yes, sir. We have not, so many not albums. Just, not just people writing on a single. Mm-hmm. You know, people putting out loads, of, and then you 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 don't skip tracks. Yes, sir. You understand what I'm saying? The yes, album sir. comes out, yo, it's watch your money. Yes, sir. You understand what I'm saying? I'm excited about it, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. And if that's one, that's why I said one of the best things that came out of this. And they make the music. It's the music. Do you think that we? Um, they overclocked with the album because a couple of albums nah. came out at one well, week, the same month. Nah, Do you think it can't be too much music? Okay. No, that's standard. There can't oh, be not that aspa. <laughs> there can't be too much music. Yeah. There can't be too much music. As far as it's great music, as far as it's not, there will be too much. There can be too much trash. But there can't be too much good music. Hmm. Somebody should uh, tweet that. There can be too much trash. 
<laughs> but there can't be too much music good music i love it yeah, i love it okay. and this year we have so many albums um and you know the, the thing now is that mm-hmm. let's be honest how many tracks do you need in an hour a lot more a lot because more. all these tracks are shorter now so oh yeah I have a pro- i'm gonna say oh it's good that here it's nigerian it's djs have a thing against us too <laughs> no, no 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 let's before we get to the oh, DJs. Uncle Jimmy. no wait, what? before we get to the djs the artists themselves hey. how many songs you see when see songs before and i'm not talking for lines on yeah that's even another case those ones were 18 20 minutes and then it got to a point, okay, so an average song, six, six, minutes. six minutes. Then it got to a point, average song, Three minutes. four minutes, for, you know, there about. Once yeah. you get into four minutes, oh, good enough. Yeah. Then it got to three. By the way, that, by the way, Omali just left the chat because all his songs are two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, every song is about two minutes on the average now. Yeah. yeah. Which means you need more songs in an hour. Yeah. You understand? I mean, before, you probably need three songs at 18, 20 minutes average. You need three in an hour. <laughs> you know, so if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Then with the DJs. Verse 2. Uh, Kenny Verse 2, Shane, a draw. <laughs> Kini Vas 2, Shane. Only take for Junior. Ah. Too much song. Too many Vas songs. Vas 2, Vas 2, they sweet. Guy, if I play only your own song yeah. for five minutes or three minutes of the full length of your song. It's like you, the crowd goes to the, I expect you to change. It's like, plenty, it means people plenty now. And we get to hear some most, <laughs> as much of them as possible. Do you understand what I'm saying? Guy, Damn. Why, sharp, sharp, sharp. Bro. But, and then truly, yes, sir. the way music is made now, it's not the same way it was made before mm-hmm. you know before there are you know the, the structure of music then you will get like the intro the first verse or mm-hmm. the, and then the oak sometimes the bridge and yes, then sir. the oak so some people's favorite part is the intro some people's favorite part, I mean, verse. part is the verse some people's favorite part is the bridge mm-hmm. and then some people's favorite part is the second verse the way a lot of songs now, especially the Afro just go song, straight. is the same. I mean, the instrumental starts and it goes on like that. Yeah. So you're not gonna miss anything if a song is caught short. Oh, no, we miss the second verse. A lot of times you won't miss anything. <laughs> oh, okay. You probably I... miss the verse in terms of the words, mm-hmm. but in terms of the music modulation, mm-hmm. not too mi- not too much is missed. Damn. You understand what I'm saying? So, you might as well go. And then there's, there's, there's too much. Too. There's too many songs. Yeah, guys. Too many songs. I have only, and then these days, unlike when we started DJing, when I started DJing, you're the DJ for the night. So, you start, parties just to start. Early. So, maybe you set up at 8, you kick off like 9, 10. And you're playing, you know, your bragging right then is that I kept this party till 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you have longer time, I mean, your longer hours to play. Now, I mean, an average, if you are, except for people like us that have that kind of training, that play for like five hours. An average straight. DJ now, if you are even in a club, for play, one, maybe 1 30 to 3. Your play time, though, mm-hmm. that's if the, if the club doesn't have five DJs in one night. Oh, most, most of them. So your play time is maybe an hour max. Well, max if it's. If it's I mean, if it's one big night for you, two mm-hmm. hours, and in that two hours you have songs that will last you for mm-hmm. twenty hours. Okay, but I please, mean, it's gonna please, be quick, man. Nigerian DJs, please, second pass. Some of the songs, a joke. Some, Am I uh, if you want to, I mean, <laughs> buy the song. For us, it's just for us, it's just for you to know the song, guy. Listen, you 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 read the song, you like it. Go go as go and buy it. So the, you know, I'm, we're doing the artist a big favor. I love it. I really love this song. Ah, but they won't play it fully, man. man may Speaking I of let Nigerian DJs, <laughs> yeah. let me touch a DJ politics. One Big Brother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a couple of my friends went there. Oh, okay. Big Brother just rounded up. Yeah. This season was very successful. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Mm. Not so much for the DJs. Because okay. there was a repetition of it's an complaint. I think it should be a situation where Big brother themselves, they need to be, how will I say this? They, they need to be caught order like, yo, not one DJ has complained about this, not two, not three. Oh, the the, the, the sound, the, the sound amplifier, issue, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I think it should be like a conglomerate with DJ say, yo, you guys, yeah. you're making us look bad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because, I, I agree with you on that. Yes, sir. Because very well. 
I mean, I agree with you on that. And I spoke with some of the DJs affected, on, you know, regarding that. Yeah. To be honest with you, I didn't, I wasn't part of it. I was meant to play. Yeah. I opted out for personal reasons, for okay. some reasons, you know. And I, I guess I gave them reasons. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, did. you know. Um, but I also did some findings after. T- people have complained. People complained about that. Mm-hmm. But um, I think the later people didn't have such complaints. Maybe the club solved. Yeah, but yeah. of course it was too late. It's rubbish. It's rubbish. The hard work of some one or two people already. Yes, sir. So that's that's very that for me is unfortunate, you know. And I think for an event or for a platform like that, uh, you know, as, as millions people, of people. All you needed to do is bring. Um, the best of the best you know it, it doesn't even hurt if you have to you know slice new cartons uh-huh. of equipment or fly you know and have the right people check them uh-huh. ahead of time and and the djs were an integral part of the show yeah, because exactly. saturday nights was a huge exactly, yeah. time yeah, yeah. you know exactly. what i mean so imagine them but, i mean it actually did you know to be honest with you and uh, I, I think really they should also you know they would have done well if they had come out to you know Axe. statement it's statement exactly also because everybody just attacked the djs that were affected and yeah. that's unfortunate it's, it's crazy if we don't know them we know these djs and we know we, especially dj for me for mm-hmm. one of them you know and we know how good and Amazing. what kind of dj is yeah so, I'll we'll be training for like three days, you know. You know, <laughs> my, you know. <laughs> my guy it's was in his feelings. It was unfortunate. Yeah. But, but the good thing that is that he's strong enough to take it and deal with it because it's just one night in life. I like that. You know, Shout so out to DJ a, you have loads of other nights to make it up. Yeah, I swear. Yeah. Okay. TJ, Jimmy Jasso, you are giving us this one this year, Two Face Buju. Is that the only thing you're giving us this year? Take that one first now and then wait. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to tell you that because uh, you know, you know, I know if you know me well, I'm I'll just probably just be quiet like that. I, so I know. Yeah. I know. So But yeah. this is done deal anyway. It's, it's out on the ninth anyway. Okay, so it's a big record I can tell. I can taste it. I pray so. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I can you know, taste because it. that's always the problem I've always had. Liking your record too yeah, much? Yeah, just loving. I love it. I put it out. Yeah, it's, uh, how you take it? Mm-hmm. Now, now get now now. Oh, I love yeah, but I think it but should I, be that way though. Yeah, it that's how. I mean, yeah. really. I mean, so if you look back, yeah, and I always tell people it's worked for me. Mm-hmm. So it might not be your boom type record, but they'll be there for a long time. So yes, if you sir. look back at a song like Style It, yes, sir, and that's twelve, if not how many years now? Two thousand and six, like fourteen. Fourteen, 14 years, years and style is still a classic. If 14. you look at a song like Turn Up, everybody's just vibing to it now. And then people Turn call up. me every time. Ch- I mean, Chase, like I just put it out. I mean, yeah. Chase been yeah. how many years? Feeling the beat is still, you know, the big vibe of, of, of a regular play by DJs. Yes, you know? sir. And these are songs that are at least four or five years old. Yes, sir. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, so for me, that's the essence. You know, it's not oh trend, rave, mm-hmm. moment, and that. Do you have your own favorite Didi Jimmy Jack track? Um, no, so no, don't give us the the baby mother parent answer. Say, ah, a daddy cannot choose a papa no fit pick. Which of your favorite picking? Eh, hey, papa fit pick, but you <laughs> go talk. Huh? Yeah, you know, go talk about this. The picking we send go private, private school. No, if you no. get three, yeah. you send two go, you go no, more there and situation <laughs> at the time they determine that one. No. <laughs> the time, the, the situation, they not be say because you like one past one. Now just your situation at that time. At that time, you money know. don't day. So your first child most times then they suffer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one will go Okmorike Primary School. Then your, your second child will go salvation. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because you don't make money by that time. Now. And now we say you don't like the first one. At the uh, so. But your favorite track? Uh, do you have one? After all this, con- after all this talk and all this pitching and everything, I thought by now I would know. You go down, come out for your head. Like, you skipped your mind. Because <laughs> so, I ain't going to tell you, man. Come on! At least one thing I'm not going to answer. It's break is that track. No, but I think really. Hmm. Guy. Which, okay, okay. I Okay, I don't want. Let me not ask that question. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me leave it there. Let me leave it there. Let me leave it there. But isn't that kind of. Obvious. Almost obvious. At this time. Styling. 
Cause like I trademark. really like Stylie. Yeah, we love Stylie. So I really it. like Stylie. We love Stylie. First of all, I, I'm coming from the fact that I I'm very evil. Yes, sir. Uh, probably one of the songs that I manage. Yes, sir. To still keep to what I love the most, mm-hmm. but I also was able to score a big hit with yes, sir. and a classic song with yes, sir. no doubt yes sir but that's not to say style is still my favorite yeah <laughs> i agree let me just pick it for you exactly style whatever <laughs> <laughs> yo thank you so much so 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 oh, much it's a pleasure man. you know like it was a no-brainer i had to just say look hey you, you know i don't know how you do it though but you know normally me i'm a very shy reserved person i don't talk this much yes sir but every time with you i'll just be running my mouth <laughs> <laughs> it's love king is love it's i don't love. come i don't come on your show again you have to because <laughs> you're gonna drop more content and you're gonna come and we're gonna talk about it right oh definitely thank you so much I'm, for doing this i'm here i will be here I'll be here for a long time. I we love it. Realize that. I appreciate that. Thank you so yeah. much. Like we just jump start. I'm I'm just so happy. I like this is like the first step towards greatness, and um, this is also like a, he's the industry has done so much for me. Let me just commend you on your growth, man. Oh, I, thanks, Chief. I followed you. I followed you from the first time I set my eyes on you on TV. Yes, I was, sir. You know, aspiring to be a presenter on a TV show, but uh, guy. Mm-hmm. You're an inspiration. Thank you so much. Simply put, I don't like talking coaching and guys. Simply, uh, <laughs> bye. I love it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna wrap with that. Um, remember, subscribe, drop a comment. DJ Jimmy Jack on the Dada Boy Show. Thank you so much, Chief. Peace. I love it. Deuces. Always love. Remember, you. stream all DJ Jimmy Jacks essential sounds mm-hmm. go on all streaming platforms it's gonna be there like subscribe Might as well follow us the title now yes sir worry me yes. i love it worry me Banging, man. jimmy jack two face and Buju. i love it yes, thank you so much we out